Uh, well, I have uh, just a suggestion, or, or it's somewhat consistent with the position I've, I've had for some time. Uh, and I think that the I think that the school committee should be uh, the meeting should be chaired by the by the uh, vice chairman, not the by the uh, a member of the body, not by the mayor. Uh, but I think that as you revisit how that might best work and work out language to reflect that. I think it's important that uh, it be taken into consideration that Ed Reform had a very different idea of how school superintendents act in their position in relation to the school committee than is the practice here in Northampton. No reflection on those who are in office now, or, nor have been since the early 90s when Ed Reform was passed. But if you go back to 1980 when, when Proposition 2 and half was passed, the reason that more of, of school committees started to have mayor's involvement on the on the on the on those bodies was because prior to that they had autonomy, the school committees, and they were able to run their own budget, if you will, and the city had to let, let the chips fall where they may. And the consequence of that was much of the impetus that led to the to the passage of two and a half in the first place. For those of you who can remember back in those olden days. Well we we have it now. It's in place and it's and it's there for us to be able to work within. In addition to that, we have Ed Reform, which passed during the period of time that I was on the City Council. And I had a very different impression of what Ed Reform was intended to do than what, in practice, has been the case in Northampton. And without mentioning any names, I will suggest to you that the reason that that practice has, has been in vogue is because at the time it was passed, we had what I would consider a weak superintendent from a leadership standpoint, but we had a strong vice chairman of the school committee who had had significant power and responsibility and who continued to practice his way the same under every form as he did as he did prior to that. Good man, great man, did a lot of good for the city, but nothing changed. But something has changed. We just never recognized it as a community. We need a strong superintendent. That is what every form calls for. And we have danced around that and face the consequences of it with the revolving door that has existed in that, in that department for many years. Now, I don't mean this in a critical way. I'm pointing it out simply as an observer. I've spoken to the school committee in their public session about this, and <laughs> nothing happened. But not that I expected that it would. But it, it, if, we're, if we're going to look at something in the, in the context of contemporary times, part of that contemporary um, observation should be making whatever recommendations you, you intend to make consistent with, with, with the laws, if you will, that are in practice today. And I believe that we've missed the boat on that. So in the school just department. to summarize real quickly to make sure I understood what you said, you do feel that the vice chair should be chairing the meeting. Yes, but not, not my the mayor. Not should the mayor be a voting member? Not attended in every form. Should the mayor be a voting member of the school committee? I'm not so sure on that one way or another. I don't have a strong feeling on that. Okay. Claire, I see your hand again. I just want to make two observations to my friend Patrick. One is um, the tenure of our superintendents has been about the average of superintendents across the Commonwealth, so we have not had a revolving door any more than anybody else has. So, Maybe I just see the right. Well, as we get older, time collapses. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so that, that's one issue. Uh, the second thing is that um, uh, this new school committee, I give a lot of credit for it, I've been doing some self-study around um, the way school committees should, con if it should um, conduct their work um, and look, it's been using um, uh, as a template um, uh, an essential school board book so, and has really been looking at what, how school committees should be conducting their business. <coughs> and, and, I, uh, so, and, and I also think they've identified a superintendent who is very well versed in Ed reform and also have hired an attorney who has worked to correct labor contracts that were not in compliance with Ed reform. So it's taken a long time, but I think the school committee. Years. Well, yeah, I know, but I think the school committee is on track to do that. Good. And so, that, so that's one issue. And the second issue is I, I don't have to beat a, a dead horse here about the chairing of the of the meeting, but you you observe that we had a person who was a strong vice chair and didn't want to let go of power. The reason I think that the elected, the chief elected official of the city makes, makes sense is because people, no matter what happens, whether they're the chair or not the chair, whether they're 
don't even show up at the meeting, they are held, the mayor is held responsible for the performance of the schools. Bottom line, the mayor is held responsible. But every form gives the responsibility for the performance of the but, schools to the superintendent. But if you your kid is not doing well, that you don't really care about that, you call the mayor. That, just, well, that's because if the MCAT scores go down, he gets I'm going to look at speeds. Do you think that's true across the country? Yes, because I think that <laughs> because schools have so much, you know, to do with the quality of life of any community, <laughs> property values, and everything else. And if you have a, if you have a bad school system, people just tend to point the finger at the person most accountable, and it's the person who has been elected citywide and has the most, you know, uh, exposure. And that's, and that's why, just what, that's just what, and that's why big call city, it in. You know? Big city, in many of the big cities, has, with family school systems, they've gone to a mayoral appointed school committee in order to try to right the ship. Now, I'm not saying that we have that problem here, but I'll tell you, I got a lot of calls about the schools, and I would redirect them back to the superintendent. Well, okay. I, I, think, it's, I think it's something it is in place and needs to be looked at, and I don't think it's uh, mm -hmm. something that is uh, out of context with the analysis that you're making.